Team, take a look at this picture behind us and how calm and flat Newport Harbor is right now. So it lo almost looks like I mean, you summer day. Almost take your mind there, <laughs> right? Almost. You don't look at the temperature at the bottom of your screen. Uh -huh. You think, hey, it looks really nice. Like you can be on a boat right now. And you know, a pleasant spring day is on yeah. the way. We've got the blue skies this morning. More of a sun cloud mix as the day goes on, but dry conditions for today. And it is a beauty in New Bedford Harbor as well as we look. Right there, temperatures in New Bedford up from the lower 30s earlier this morning, now back to 41. And we're in the 40s in Newport, Providence, and Smithfield, and climbing up close to 60 degrees away from the shore today. So our threat tracker is in the green. Now we do have unsettled weather on the way. I'm not tracking any severe weather, showers and drizzle for a good chunk of Wednesday, just kind of chilly and raw day. And then on Thursday, first part of the day, just kind of cloudy, cool with a spot shower around, but then the rain picks up again towards the evening and night. And that's when we may bump our threat tracker up because not just will it be rainy, but we'll have some downpours too. So we've got a couple of unsettled days ahead of us. And when it's all said and done, one to two inches of rain is likely for the area, and we may even see some locations that get over two inches of rain. So grab your sunglasses today. You don't need your rain gear. Winds are light. The skies are dry. Roadways should be in good shape weather-wise all over all of New England. But let me show you where these storms are coming from. So we've got one area of low pressure down in the deep south this morning. It's been bringing heavy thunderstorms, downpours, the risk of severe weather to that part of the country. It's going to be pushing eastward and tracking south of our area tomorrow. Then this wave is right behind it. Cold front will come through and well, the extra energy along that front will help to enhance the rain. So that's the two main batches of widespread precipitation that we will see. And again, it's not for today, but arriving very late tonight. Around 60 degrees for the high today. Partly sunny skies. You can see those clouds starting to fill in. Afternoon conditions, upper 50s to near 60 in Smithfield, Taunton, Providence, and New Bedford. A little cooler along the shore. Winds will turn onshore. We have a sea breeze develop, and that'll keep us a little bit cooler for our coastline. 55 at 5 o'clock in the evening in Providence. Mid 50s, Smithfield, Taunton. And again, cooling into the 40s this evening. Clouds will be thickening up a few sprinkles earlier in the night turning to a widespread rain. Tomorrow morning's commute is a soggy one. Temperatures in the 40s. Heaviest rain will be south of Providence through the day, gradually tapering off. So widespread in the morning and early afternoon. Then some lingering cloudy skies and drizzle later afternoon and early evening. And even that a drying up for a time once that first round moves offshore. Let's talk about round number two. We get a little break in the activity for the start of the day on Thursday before that rain starts to fill back in. Some downpours, maybe nice late thunderstorm on Thursday night and again around a gusty winds expected by late in the day and evening on Thursday. This is around six o'clock potential for some gusts over 40 miles per hour. Coastal areas offshore Cape Cod all with some gusty winds in the early part of Thursday night, but it does look like it diminishes heading into Friday morning. So Friday is a warmer and drier day, but you may still catch a spot shower around uh, during the day with temperatures going from the upper 40s tomorrow, low 50s on Thursday to the 60s on Friday. Pretty good weekend overall. A couple of isolated showers possible Saturday, upper 50s for highs.